all, I'm going to congratulate you with the amazing uh, performance, amazing form, and every attempt uh, looked uh, easy. Uh, was it easy? Uh, no, it was uh, not easy. Maybe they looked easy, but but uh, for me it felt uh, heavy. The last lifts, uh, at least. But uh, I have had uh, lifts that uh, have uh, felt uh, heavier before, so this this was not the heaviest feeling I, I've had. It was uh, all around a, a very good feeling, the whole meet. Uh, every lift uh, felt, of course, heavy, but also okay. So your face, there is nothing changed during the lift. So uh, how it was, how it was heavy. Well, um, you didn't struggle. Uh, oh, I did struggle, but maybe it, it, the speed may be pretty fast, but but uh, I struggled. But squat, I really felt heavy the last lift. That uh, I really had to give 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 it all and 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 work hard. But the bench and deadlift, mm, not so heavy. So, how many kilograms uh, did you leave uh, on the platform? Oh, that's hard to say. I I think I just will have to be happy with uh, everything I got, and uh, I cannot look at it uh, in a way that I, I I left some kilos on the platform. I don't think so. I, I think I got everything I I deserve today. <laughs> I saw when you were warming up before deadlift, and I uh, really felt your heart breathing. Uh, yeah. What uh, did uh, the most uh, difficult thing uh, after bench press before deadlift warming up? Well, uh, all warm ups, both for bench and deadlift, was especially difficult this time because two things. First of all, we were only one group. Uh, and so then you only have 20 minutes break, and that's that's the two, that's a little time. Uh, either way, but also the warm-up room behind here is is a pretty far away from the lifting venue. You have to walk through a um, hotel lobby and downstairs. So uh, it took about six minutes just the walking uh, back and forth. Uh, for the warm up, and then you have, and, 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 and if you take six minutes from 20, then you have 14 minutes roughly to, to warm up, and that's uh, way too uh, less time. Usually, uh, warm up room and uh, platform are pretty close. Usually. Yeah, usually pretty close, and also, usually, we have two groups or we're lifting with the uh, 120 minus class, so you have like 30, 35 minutes. So maybe if uh, you had uh, better conditions, you felt better and uh, maybe lifted more? I cannot say that I would have lifted more with better conditions because, as I said, I think I got, got everything that I had in me here today. But I would not have been so tired all the time because I was breathing and was very tired all the time. And uh, I would have more. Uh, more energy with uh, with uh, more time, but it went okay anyway. So, do you remember what did you say to Dietmar Wolf when you uh, uh, when you finished your first attempt and what what did you say to him? Uh, well, uh, I say as I always do because he asks me if it was heavy or not, but. Uh, I think it's better to let him decide if he is think, thinks it looks heavy or uh, or what he thinks because I cannot really think about that. It's it's better for me to let him handle it. So so I just say uh, it's a little bit heavy, but okay, you do the um, you decide what the next attempt will be. I always do like that. I don't like to think about it. How is your knee? Uh, knee is okay. I had an injury uh, uh, six weeks ago, a pretty serious injury, but today was no problem, so uh, all fine. This is not the first time when you got injury. Uh, I have uh, had uh, many problems with my knee, but this is a, a new injury for the knees, yes. So it is the uh, first time with left knee? And no, I had some other problems, but this is the first time with a serious injury in the left knee, yes. Very serious? Uh, well, uh, 
I'm not a doctor, but I, I, I have been, ta I, I did take a M MRI picture, you know, MRI. And the, on the tendon here, it's a small rupture. And a small rupture in this tendon in the knee is uh, very serious uh, with uh, these heavy weights in squat. So uh, I was very, um, uh, I was not sure that I could uh, come here and compete because of this, but it you went okay. Were lucky today. Yeah, I was lucky with the, with the injury, yeah. amazed by your bench press and deadlift then squat because I was expected something from you. Um, how did you improve your bench press and what uh, Dietmar Wolf uh, ha has changed in your training system that uh, got uh, good improvement? Well, training uh, hasn't really changed anything. I've just been training hard like always, but I feel that earlier I've been a little unlucky in bench press. I've always felt that I have more in me than what I have uh, lifted before. But um, I am not uh, very good technically with the shirt. I, I have to have a, a pretty loose and big shirt because if I uh, use a, a tight, very tight bench press shirt, I, I get trouble with my technique. And so I'm, I'm not a very good bench presser with, with the shirt. So, but I, I now have, um, learn to pull it more down and, and make it tighter and uh, then I get more kilos from it. So that's what they improved in bench press. Uh, I took a interview with Dmitry Dietmar Wood before and he said that uh, he had uh, uh, in his mind to beat Fedosienka by Wilkes. And did you know this plan? I didn't know anything. I, I knew that uh, when I come to the, when I um, was walking to the platform for the last lift, I knew that I was pulling for that uh, overall title. But before that, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't even know what his Wilkes was, because he has always been uh, un untouchable when it when it comes to Wilkes. He is always he always wins on, on Wilkes. So I, I never thought about it. So. So that was very, uh, I'm very happy with uh, beating him, yes. If I was mistaken, you said to me that you're pretty nervous before competition and uh, it is the reason to lose weight. How did, how was it uh, this time? Uh, it was like always, I was very nervous and the last, the last few days I've been a little nervous and uh, have not been able to eat as much as, as usually. So I always drop a few kilograms so, uh, before the competition. So that's uh, why I always at home before the few weeks before competition, I always try to eat eat my body weight a little bit up because I know that it, it always uh, it it becomes like this because I'm living at a hotel. I don't have all the food that I'm usually having at home, and also I get nervous. So I I um, I cannot eat as much as as I should or. or or want to, uh, because of nervous and uh, excitement for competition. How many kilograms did you lift when um, you were preparing for this competition? And uh, what is the, what is what were your biggest uh, results in squat, deadlift, bench press this time? Yeah, in training. Yeah. Well, the heaviest I've been in squat now this training period is uh, 465, the same as my opener. In bench press, the heaviest I've been in training is uh, 300 and uh, either 37 and a half or 35, I don't remember. To, uh, not all the way down to a little um, uh, board. Deadlift, 347.5 is the heaviest in training. So not, not, not uh, heavy? No, uh, we always uh, go pretty light on training compared to many other nations. We see videos on the internet of, of lifters lifting 10, 15, 20 kilos more than they did here today, for example. But we always uh, make sure that our heaviest, heaviest lifts comes at the competition, not at home, because uh, I have a, a, rec a personal record for me in my uh, training gym. It's not worth anything. It's uh, at the platform. It's it's worth something. So yeah. Uh, don't you know that uh, this result uh, 
will pu will push you further, and you have to uh, train more hard to beat yourself. Uh, and how many kilograms should we expect from you in the next? <laughs> uh, I cannot uh, predict anything, but of course, as you say, to beat this uh, this result, I have to work even harder, of course. And, uh, and that will be difficult, but uh, I will try my best and we'll see. I cannot say anything else. Uh, if the Stofan Konovalov uh, was, were there, uh, could you uh, total uh, 12.30? What do you think? Uh, well, um, there are two things here. When you're lifting alone, I'm not, I was not alone, but my other competitors were a little bit behind so when you're lifting alone you have you have the possibility to take some chances and and so it's maybe easier to reach a, a high personal record result when you're lifting alone than if uh, Konovalo or Testo have, have been there uh, but uh, also maybe it we would have pushed each other uh, maybe beyond this uh, result I don't know, but uh, but um, I wish they were they were here so we can have a have a, a great fight again. But um, it is how it is. The gold medal, a total of one thousand two hundred and thirty kilos, and I believe by Wilkes coefficient, he was also the best overall lifter of the entire tournament by point oh one point oh one by Wilkes formula. 1,230 kilo three-lift total from Norway. Okay, I, I would just like to thank thank uh, everyone that um, that enjoy watching me lifting and um, and uh, all the powerlifting fans out there. Thank you.